Um, let's go back pre perhaps to, to the countries. You were, um, I think, three years ago in Italy for, for some time. And uh, your origins, uh, your father, uh, are, are from Italy. And mm -hmm. uh, when I hear your name, I always think about another Italian uh, writer, um, Pierpaolo Pasolini. He mm -hmm. has an S in, in, in the family name. You are Paolini without S. Uh, do you know Pasolini or, uh, well, or, or your Italian origins? Um, I'm familiar with his work, but yeah. I've never met him myself, okay, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my family was, it, it, I still have family in Italy, of course, yeah, yeah. and the family was originally from Bologna, ah. uh, but now, of course, they, they live in different parts of Italy. Okay, um, yeah. A number of them are, are in Rome. Yeah. Um, my uh, uh, great-grandmother was from Sicily, oh, and yeah, she was yeah. blonde-haired and blue-eyed uh, Sicilian. Great. <laughs> um, but uh, the funny thing is, is when I met my relatives in Italy for the first time, and you know, all the cousins, and the second cousins, and the third cousins, and the scary thing was, we all looked the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice. Um, <laughs> and, I, but, and my books have done very well in Italy, and I think part of it is because uh, you know, I have an Italian name, and yeah. my family has contributed so much to you know, what yeah. I've done, and if there's one thing Italians like, is family. Yeah. So uh, actually, the books did so well in Italy, um, an author named Joey Luke Bandini published a spoof of Aragon. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it was called Aerosol, the Adventures of the Not So Bright Cousin of Aragon. Oh. <laughs> and uh, he rides a giant blue turkey instead of a dragon. <laughs> okay. It's published? Or? Oh, it is, yeah. 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 Oh, oh. A number of years ago. Okay, that's, in that's interesting. That's funny. Uh, your father still speaks Italian or? Well, he does. Uh, yeah. I didn't grow up. He did. I mean, he didn't speak Italian in the house when I was yeah. growing up, but he still speaks it. His grandfather emigrated from Italy to yes. to US. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he uh, met my grandmother in yeah. Europe when she was studying yeah. abroad, and then okay. they married and yeah. came back over. And did he talk a little bit in Italian with you, or did you sometimes have oh, some yes. words? Oh uh, yes. Yeah? In fact, uh, I remember I would I would go up to him and I would ask him. I would say, you know, how would I say this in Italian? And he would tell me and. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the funny thing is, is um, pretty much everyone in my family can speak Italian or is learning to speak Italian. But I have trouble with Italian. Um, I, I can't roll my R's very well. Okay. And uh, because I studied Old Norse to yeah. base one of my invented languages on, I actually understand German better than I do Italian. Okay. Um, yeah. And like visiting here in Berlin, I'll be watching the television or listening to people talk. And, Every now and then, I will understand a full sentence as yeah. if it were English. Yeah. And I think I may actually go ahead and learn German at some point. The, the sounds are a little easier for me. Yeah.